Wix versus Etsy. In today's video, I'm going to compare Wix versus Etsy so that you can make the best decision. So what I'm going to do is simply show you which store builder or which platform is better for you to sell your products and build your online store. Now I'm going to compare the two in terms of pricing, in terms of usability, and then also which platform is simply the best for you. So I'm going to break this down to specific categories depending on what kind of store you would like to create because it's not as simple as you might think. Let's get started. So before I actually like mention any of this, I do want to mention that I'm not getting paid to say any of this and I won't leave any affiliate links. So all of this is my honest opinion. So starting off with Wix, Wix is a website and store builder that's really easy to use. So what you can do is simply create a Wix account. If you then click create new website, it will, uh, let's see, I'll just show you. It will send you over to the templates. Now what you can do on here is simply go with store, which will show up right there. And you can then choose a category. So let's say you go with online store, you find all of these templates that you can simply use and customize. They've got over 10 pages and you can choose the template and then start selling on it. So for example, if you would like to go with a fashion store, you can click on fashion and clothing. You can view a template. So I'm going to view the full demo and you can then find out if it's something that you would like to use and build your store on. So you can pretty much use your imagination to see if this is going to be for you. So don't pay attention to the photos and products. Just imagine your own products on here. Now, if we compare all of this to uh, Etsy, there is a huge difference in the two. So on Etsy, it's a kind of like different way to sell your products because on Wix, you're going to build your own store with your own website. If you decide to purchase a plan, I'll get into pricing in a bit, but you have your own website slash store on Etsy. You're going to build your store on Etsy itself, so on a platform. Now the perks of that is that it's free, so you can see joining and starting a shop on Etsy is free. However, when you start selling, there are gonna be fees. So it's gonna cost you 16 cents to publish a listing, which honestly isn't that bad. Like you can you can start listing your products and even if you list a hundred of them, you would still only pay 16 euros. You probably only need one sale on a product to earn back those hundred listings, if that makes sense. So that is pretty decent. However, they do have 5% transaction fees on the sales price and that includes shipping. So if you sell actual products, like physical products, that will be included. Um, so yeah, that's a difference. Now, like I said, I'll get into pricing in a bit. However, I do wanna state and pretty much mention the clear difference between the two. So Wix is really made um, so that you can make your own store, your own actual store. And Etsy is a platform where you can create your store. Now, the differences are that on Wix, you're going to have to send your own traffic to the store. On Etsy, there already is traffic that you can capitalize on. And that's a huge difference. That is the biggest difference between these platforms. So if you already are popular, you already have like a following, you already have a brand, then Wix could be great because you can build your own store and you can really customize it. So you can really do some branding on it. You can change it. You can make a like your own style, if that makes sense. So add your own style to it. And then you'll have your own store. However, on Etsy, that's not really possible in terms of like customization and all of that good stuff. That is way um, better on Wix than Etsy. However, Etsy already has um, traffic. So if I go to Etsy, Etsy has a ton of visitors per day. And if those people search for planner and then 2021, for example, they would already get all of these products. And one of these could be your product. Think about that. So for example, if people click on this one, they'll already find it, they'll find your product, and then if they buy it, you're gonna earn money. However, on Wix, it doesn't work like that. You have to do your own PR, you, you have to send your own traffic, make sure that people visit your website. However, on Etsy, there's already traffic that you can use. So if you use SEO and you show up on here, you can make a decent amount of money already without actually doing your own branding or your own like following like using your own following so that's a huge difference 
And that's probably the main difference between the two, which I also mentioned in my conclusion in a bit. Now, with that being said, let's show you the pricing. So like I said, on Etsy, it's going to be free to join. However, you're going to pay for fees. So there is 16 cents to publish a listing, 5% um, transaction fee, including the shipping price. They also collect 4% if the payment will get accepted through Etsy payments with a 30 cents payment processing fee. So those are fees in terms of like pricing on Wix, you're going to have to go with a plan. Now that's like I said, like that's the main difference on here. You're going to have your own proper store and for that you're going to have to pay 1250 per month or 17 or 1750 and that comes with all of these features. I recommend checking this out yourself because not all of you are going to need all of this. So make sure you go check this out yourself. However, with a plan like this, you can build your proper online store, like your own store, and you can choose a template like this and then have it like www dot and then your name. So for example, mine, which I just set up for a tutorial video is www dot how to digital store. And that's the domain that I'm using. So you can make a domain like that if you go with a payment plan and people can then visit your store and I'll show you mine real quick. It's not one that I actually use. It's just a template that I chose and built up for a video. However, that's the main difference. So my conclusion, guys, if you are trying to build an actual brand, an actual store, go with Wix because then you can build an actual store of your own branding, your own logos, your own style, all of that. And you can use it to um, like pretty much, I mean, you can use your socials to send traffic to the store. And that's the main difference on Etsy. You can just list some products and like kind of like earn more passive income because there are already people on Etsy that are searching for stuff. So for example, Buccaneer shirt with the Super Bowl um, happening, like, I mean, the Super Bowl um, was like three days ago, I think, as of the time of recording. But you can see that's now the main search um, like phrase and people are selling this. So if I click right there, that's the person that's showing up as the first result, meaning that this guy or girl is going to uh, sell a lot of these products. You can see 2.4K sales, guys, for 30 euros. That's a lot of money. Let me do some math on that. It's probably like, like what, like 72K? Let's do 2405 times 30 yep 72k so that's the main difference if you just want to list products and let etsy do all of the other stuff so traffic and all of it then go with etsy if you're trying to actual if you're trying to build an actual store for your own brand go with wix so yeah that's pretty much my conclusion if this video helps you out um leave a like on the video if you have any questions about any of these platforms um just let me know and i've also made a video about Shopify versus Etsy. So if you want to check uh, check out that video, I'll leave a video on the end screen right now. So click on it and I'll see you there.